Bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is supposed to Peter Daniel. Peter Daniel. You are watching me right now in Heaven and Hell program, which we used to do. Uh, today, the Lord is giving me a very serious message. A very serious message. Very powerful. I was on my way to my office. And God spoke with me. And the rate of the way he spoke with me, it was in a serious anger. In a serious anger. In a very serious anger. This... Before we talk about the message, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because you are faithful, powerful, and mighty. Oh Lord, my God, I pray, oh Lord, that everyone looking at me now, that we open their eyes to see the things of the Spirit. You are, we open their understanding to understand the word of life and the mystery of your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I was saying, the Lord gave me a serious warning to every Christian. To every Christian. To everyone who knows he's going to heaven. The Lord came to me and asked me to warn the world, the saint in Christ. He asked me to warn the saint in Christ. About pride. When he was speaking to me about his pride, his anger was so hot that I was shaking inside. His anger was very hot. When he spoke about the, uh, the, the pride. My beloved brethren, sisters, brother, that are listening to me. This is a message I want to tell you. The Lord said to me clearly and so clearly and wide. He said he has decided to start removing some of his children that is possessed with the spirit of anger he said he want to remove them from his kingdom he said he want to remove them out of the people he has chosen for rapture he said as you want them very well he said if he will not pardon lucifer the satan in heaven and send him to her to, 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 to reject him forever. So, so he will not pardon anyone who is having anger in them. The Lord also told me, He said, He's going to do the same thing He did to Nebuchadnezzar, the king. He said, He's going to do the same thing. He said, To anyone. He said, I should warn his minister very well. <laughs> if you are a minister of God, you are a pastor, you are a prophet, you are an evangelist, an apostle, whatsoever you call yourself, you are a Christian, the Lord says, I should warn you very well. You should shake your life now. Because the Lord said, He's ready to leave you completely one that by the time you begin to beg him he will not listen to you anymore he told me he showed me how much he hate pride then i asked him i said lord am i also a victim he said no he said that is why i'm sending you i want to warn you now if you know you there is still heaven for you to go home Take away the pride in you, or else you go to hell. The Lord says, I should warn you very well that no one should prove that is something 
in his presence. He said you should respect your fellow brothers and sisters. Even decide who is in Christ. You should give him respect for his name's sake. Any wife speaking arrogantly to his husband is going to hell. He told me clearly that he will remove them completely out of his children. You pastor that you allow the member to be talking to you on their knee, you are going to hell. Not my word. This is what God said I should tell you. You are a mere man. No man should speak to you on their knee. You are a mere man. A man. The Lord said, as you give this warning, his anger was so hot. This is a warning of God. Respect the brethren. Don't see yourself as something, or else you are going down. And once you go down, you are not going up anymore. And I know you might say something else, but this is the message I had from him. And this is what he asked me to tell you. Esau, I hate. Jacob, I love. The time he spoke at that time, Esau, they have not committed anything. Our God of yesterday is the God of now. James chapter 4 verse 6. He said, but he gives more grace. Wherefore, he said, God, resist the pride, proud, but gives grace unto the humble. Humble yourself down, even though the anointing is flowing from your head to your toe like an arrow. Humble yourself. The gift you have, humble it. The Lord told me clearly. He said, my son, do you know that those people I have bring from the scraps to the high place, they are the ones that are pride most. Imagine. He told me clearly. He said, do, do you imagine that those who I have bring from the scraps, the scraps, from the down side, those who are nothing before, those who the world regard as nothing, they are the, they are the one he bring them hope. By the time they get to that hope, they begin to get pride, feeling they are something. God is not just requiring you to humble yourself before his present, but humble yourself before man. No pastor should feel like God. Before they see you, they begin to they line up. You'll be expecting people to bow down for you just because you are a man of God. The Lord says, I should warn you. You know yourself. You know the area you are being too proud. Some of you, your, your children cannot just speak to you. You feel too proud to listen. Some of you, because you have the gift, you now burst out of the church with your group and start singing so that you can have money outside. The Lord says, I should warn you. He said, He's going to reject many and replace them. He said, Because He has no time anymore. <sighs> Do you know what? Once God rejected you, he has rejected you. Rejection of God is different from punishment. When God punishes you, he can still call you back. But when God rejects you, himself has rejected you. The only thing that can make God to reject you 
is pride. All that sins, God can see who look, but pride is the most dangerous of all. He ate it. Even him that is God, he did it. He humbled himself. How dare you? The Lord here should warn you. I'm warning you now. And God is my witness. That your blood might not be in my hands. You will not say that he didn't tell me. I have told you. You will not, you will not say that I didn't tell you. I have told you. If you didn't stop it, you will go to hell. Begin to look at your intentions. Wherever you are that you are leading. Make sure humility carry the boast. Humble yourself. Don't feel that you are too big. Don't feel that that one is too small for me. Don't feel that you are the, you are the racist. Don't feel that you are, you are the one that has the fame. Don't feel that your congregation is too big. Humble yourself. Low, low yourself down. Humble yourself. Just our, as our Savior Jesus Christ humbled himself in his time. There was a time the disciple was saying, hey, no, 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 you cannot see the Savior. He said, who are you to say that? I pray you will not go to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. This is the message the Lord has sent me to tell you. If you like, accept it. If you do like, but this is what the Lord says. But how we are, I advise you to accept it so that you can be saved. God bless you. God be with you. Before you go subscribe and press the notification button so that you can hear more of God's voice for this time. God be with you. Bye-bye.